So what is Xano? What is it commonly used for and where does it fit in the tech stack? Xano describes itself as a no-code backend platform. They provide persistent storage on database. They provide API endpoints, so you can be going back and forth using REST metaphors, get, put, post, what have you, and you can define as many of those as you want. And third, they provide logic, so that you can be putting in the form of logic that's going to be controlling your backend endpoint, right, which is going to connect your database to logic, to whatever came in from the user, to be making decisions, or background tasks, right, that can be invoked on some regular basis, like we were just talking about before in the context of detail. You put those three things together uh, and, and they're calling it a back end because they imagine it will get paired with a front end. You're providing APIs and those APIs then get used by something like WeWeb or Builder or whatever for the purpose of creating an app that be used by a human being. And of course, because it's just APIs, it's not actually restricted to web. You could use like, you know, um, any of the mobile tech, right? Like uh, DraftBit or Flutterflow or what have you. And really they're trying to be, how can you be more no code? Xano I would describe as advanced no code because their big thing is how how can you uh, get greater control over what this logic is going to be? So the, the, the building blocks are not nearly as friendly, but they provide you with a lot more power. And of course it stays in no code world Although they just recently introduced support for Lambda, so like we need a little bit of code, you can be bringing that in too. I think it's a great company. I think it's a great product. I also think that it's not so much about being a backend, it's about being the heart of a business. Because where the data lives is usually gonna be the heart of the business and the flows around the data are really the connections to the processes uh, that are running the business. So I look at it as a great way to have a heart of a business and it is expensive enough that you really only wanna use it in a business context. Real quick, unlike Ethereum, there is no gas limit on expressing your gratitude. So go ahead and hit that like button. Thank you. They have a free tier, which is okay for hacking around, but their first tier for you know being serious is about $70 a month, which I think is high enough that that's not where you mess around for personal projects. That's where you go for building at least a small business and then being able to have that reliability that sits on top. And there's some bigger businesses that run their whole thing on Xano. It's, it's some pretty impressive tech and a very good team and a very good market. As always, if you want to stay apprised of the latest around emerging tech, then go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Thanks.